Michael Moran is a community builder, an arts activist, extraordinaire, and a closet musician. <laughs> Sometimes he does come out of his closet to share his love of music making as well, and even sometimes to share some of his own original songs. He was once quoted as saying, the arts are a rich form of communication that allows us to meet, understand, and accept each other. And apparently that has mattered to him very much. Based on the number of years, as well as his own blood, sweat, tears, that he has contributed to his work in making arts more vibrant and alive in the Metro West. He has been a community visionary for local art scene for the past 20 years. He's been the past president of the Uncommon Coffee House in Framingham, formerly the founder and ex executive director at the Center for the Arts in Natick. Most recently, he has worked as a founder and executive director of Amazing Things Art Center in Framingham, now exiting and passing the baton to Phil Knudsen. This important work in community service did not come easy. Michael described himself in his own words a long time ago as a former drunk. Some 30 years ago, he said he was homeless off and on and panhandled for about two years. And then he went into a government-sponsored training program and learned to be a computer technician. And about 18 years ago, he said he got sober and ran a computer business. And then in 1997, he woke up one morning and decided to do something more, something he really loved. He said, I woke up and said to myself, you're not doing what you ought to do. And so he got out there and looked into his resources to try to find a way to make an art center happen. And he made some personal contacts uh, that he had developed in campaigns for school committee members. And he built up local support to start an art center that became the Center for the Arts in Natick, TCAN. And he pursued this work as well as past president of the Uncommon Coffee House, creating and managing the two art centers. And now, he acknowledges at times that he might have irked a few people in his insistent single-minded approach. And he poured his own money into his dream and eventually created a full-time paid position for him at TCAN. Later on, the dream went over to down the street to Framingham at the Amazing Things Art Center after building it and watching it grow with an outreach audience of 10,000. He has done this so very well that he has received the Leadership Metro West Community Leadership Award in 2003 in the inaugural now annual Contributor of the Year Award given by the Framingham Cultural Council in 2009. He's infrequently invited by educational and cultural agencies to speak on a wide array of community topics. And now getting ready to retire, he is thinking of spending a little more time with his own music maybe going with his wife over to Jamaica, who knows? And we thank him for all of the time he put first into making art happen for us in community, for many of us here today. Michael said, in addition to Jamaica, but maybe in a year or so I'll look into another project, maybe a jazz club. That's something the area could really use. And asked if he thought about his legacy, he, Michael paused and said, well, I guess if I hadn't been here, there wouldn't be two major art centers in Metro West. And uh, amen to that and the haven of art and gathering that it has brought to us all in this area. So with thank yous, gratitude, and looking forward to him bringing his music out of the closet today, joined by his brother, Kevin Moran. Please give a big round of applause for Michael Moran. Electric car got a mean look in his 
die, he's gonna shoot somebody just to see him die. Duncan, you are under arrest And I can shot a hole right in the greatest chest Well, you've been on the job too long Old King Brady packed it 45 And he said, this mother shoot a half a mile Mr. Duncan had a 44 So I was up in the fifth right here, but I find out I was in the fourth. I'm going, Kevin, man, what are you doing? So I don't write a lot of songs. Um, there are so many lovely songs out there that I'm not up to. I'm not up. And I, my hat's off to poets and, and songwriters that, that really I mean, can do such a, a, a thing. It's such a great, great talent. Now, I, I'm a pretty capable guy, and believe me, I've tried. I have friggin' tried. But I, I've got maybe three songs that are like, you know, worth singing to somebody. Here's one of them. This song is actually from my son. And um, is it sounding OK, Dan? loud enough? We like it loud. Hey, hey, Dan. Hey, hey, Dan. Hey, hey, Dan. What you gonna be when you become a man? Will you 
be an Indian chief. Will you be a plumber? Will you be a traveling man? Following your endless summer. So, um, as I was saying, um, this, because it's on TV, we can't, I can't do any covers. Or if I do covers, they have to be like, you know, uh, public domain songs. So this next song, I went looking for public domain songs. And, um, and I like this one. And this is an old prison song. This is coming from t out of Texas. And out of Texas, where, uh, you know, the chain gangs did. And so it used to be a, like a call and response time a, a, a song like we go, I'm Long John, he's Long John, long time gone, long time gone. And it hit the smacking at the, of the railroad ties, the, you know, the nails and stuff like that. And they used to sing to stay, to stay sane out there. But so, and, and nothing about this song for you singer songwriters out there is that it's pretty easy because there's only one <laughs> chord. One, one chord. Not too many one quarters around. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> they told me, they told me the singer songwriter stuff. You could do that, man. But it's a young guy's gig. It's a, it's a. This is a, a young man's uh, thing. So, so we're prepared for that. You know. This is a singer songwriter. I mean, you gotta be a young man to do so. We're all right, we're there. Uh. Hey, fella. I forgot. I did. Brother me, brother me, brother me, brother. <laughs> Chat, chat, chat. 
I'm a long john, I'm a long time gone, like a turkey through the corn, with my long clothes on. If I had to listen to what Moses said, I'd be sleeping in Rosie's bed. I didn't listen, I just rambled about. Now I'm changing with my teeth hooked out. I'm a long john, I'm a long time gone, like a turkey through the corn, when the long goes on. Well, you know I made, made a pair of shoes, with the funniest shoes that you ever did see. You got a heel in the front. They got a heel behind You can't quite tell Which way the boy is going I'm a long john I'm a long time gone Got the turkey through the corn With the long clothes on Two or three minutes Then I catch my wind Two or three minutes I'll be gone again Way out yonder, out ahead of them hounds, in a hound in town, and then you're running down. I'm a long john, I'm a long time gone, but I'm turning through the corn, and my long goes on. in my hand, waiting on the cool things that the white folks had. Said old potato, said chitlin stew, said an old hog eye, said a cold tortue. I'm a long john, I'm a long time gone. Oh, you're very kind. You know, Rodney Dangerfield uh, said it takes a year and a half to work up a good bit. And um, I think it's the same thing about songs, you know? And we, so we just started this a month ago. So. <laughs> As with this one. So, batting down the hatches. Oh, this is a lovely song. I was so surprised to find out this is in the public domain. And it was a hit by Eddie Arnold. Eddie Arnold, sometime in the 50s. And it's time you're feeling lonely. And it's time oh, you're feeling blue. And it's time you feel downhearted. That'll prove. Your love for me is true Any time you're thinking of me That's a time I'll be thinking of you Any time you say you want me back again That's a time I'll be running home to you any time your world gets lonely and you find true friends are few any time you see a rainbow that'll prove the storm is almost through any time Will be the right time 
Yes, any old time will do Any time you say You want only my love That's the time I'll be coming back to you Oh, come here set out on a journey though the road be twisty turny or the path be straight and narrow there's one constant that I bring riding shotgun on the dashboard facing backward looking inward my companion on life's highways plastic Buddha on a spring oh plastic Buddha my companion bring me joy and understanding help me neutralize the tension as I navigate today when a kid in a suburban cuts me off and takes my parking place remind me of my inner peace as I go on my way bald of head and robe of yellow he's a soulful little fellow and he's bouncing on his spring to the rhythm of the road his expression of serenity reminds me of what has to be Helps me keep my sanity, makes sure I don't explode. Oh, plastic Buddha, my companion, bring me joy and understanding. Help me neutralize the tension as I navigate today. When a Texan in his Lexus flips me off, then takes the exit. Remind me of my inner peace as I go on my way. When I'm sitting in construction, and I'm sobbing in frustration, and the line stretches to eternity, at least it feels that way. Plastic Buddha helps my patience, keeps me calm, brings me acceptance. As I watch him do his spring dance, his gentle bob and sway. Oh, Plastic Buddha, my companion, bring me joy and understanding. Help me neutralize the tension as I navigate today. When I'm trapped behind a folky, driving slowly in his Prius, <laughs> remind me of my inner peace as I go on my way. Predictions have been made and I am staked out away from the chill of an early spring evening on the coast of New England. It's been a cloud-filled sky today and temps have struggled to hit the mid-40s. I walked the town all day. Now these aging bones defy me to wander back to the sea to increase the odds of encountering this awaited vision. 
Instead, I'm sitting above the third story of this lovely B&B with a notebook and a flashlight and a layman's hope that the power of the universe will bless tonight with a marvel of nature seldom witnessed, rarely seen. I alternate between light and dark, don't we all, and sit with silence and hope, lighting the proverbial candle, then snuffing it out to gain insight into the blackness. But it's still early, and I find the little town wide awake, lit up beyond any capacity for darkness. Descending the stairs to this tiny tower, I vow to return to my watch when more of the good townspeople take to their beds for sweet slumber. Twice more, cloud cover thwarts my mission, and I am left to wonder, only wonder, what it is that I have missed. Thank you. Feathered Dance. Lovely feathers, so lovely, peeping out from behind green vines, a magnificent dance leaves sparkles in my eyes and a hint of a dream plays around the edges of my vision. But I am not a bird for whom that would suffice. This spectacle leaves me cold below my neck. I want an arrow flaming special for me and only me, a direct hit, a question aimed straight at my heart. Thank you.